This is Stephanie Barnes from IntelliKey, um, and this is episode number, sorry, I need to look at my screen, 36, um, on compassion from my brick wall, brick wall chat series. And this is the last video. I have been sitting here recording videos this afternoon to try and catch up and get some in the in my store so that I can release them over the next few months. So this is about the 12th one I've recorded. Um, so yeah, so here we go. Um, episode number 36 on compassion. And this is actually a topic that po popped into my head as I was recording some of the other videos, particularly the, the one that I just recorded, um, number 35, the previous one on toxic positivity. Um, and compassion. I didn't, I don't think I mentioned compassion in that video. I should have, um, which, so, you know, I'm doing a whole video now on compassion. And compassion to me um, means something different than kindness. A lot of people use them interchangeably and I understand that and I understand why, or at least I think I do. But for me, there, there's a difference. Compassion for me has an element of spirituality in, t in it. Um, uh, a com uh, ha has an element of empathy um, in it. Um, where kindness, kindness is just being nice. Um, yeah, and that's without sort of a deeper thought to it. Um, so I know people who I would say are kind, but not necessarily compassionate. Um, because yeah, compassion has an, has a, is more complex to, at least for me, it is. So I, I don't tend to use the, the terms interchangeably. Um, I use them very purposely. I'm, I'm not sure that the, the dictionary would support me in, in this. I didn't actually check before I record this video, but, but for me, compassion is different and compassion has a, an element of purpose behind it and spirituality and empathy and and other things um, that yeah make it more a bit more complex and and it startles me sometimes um, whether we're talking about business or personal situations the number of people that I seem to have encountered lately and I don't know if this is just me because I'm particularly sensitive to it because of my own situation right now or whether this is actual reality whether other people are having this experience but I, I find that there's a lack of compassion um, in in people um, a lack of understanding a lack of thinking about the other person and and considering you know them for a, for a moment um, in in a situation um, yeah I had um, someone yell at me about something that was a personal in a personal relationship and this has been several months now. I still don't know um, why the person was yelling at me. Um, what and in fact they denied that they were yelling at me, and yet I was being yelled at. I know when I'm being yelled at, this was not a normal tone of voice. This was a raised voice, um, and there was some anger and some frustration in it, in it. Um, and so yeah, and and I was in the middle of of some very personal things going on, and. And I really could have used some compassion and some understanding um, for the situation that I was in rather than being yelled at because the person was, was frustrated with me um, for, yeah, like I say, I'm not even sure what, um, for being honest about how I was feeling from my perspective, but I'm sure that they would have said something different. Um, but compassion is is so difficult I think for some people in this age of social media everything's been about me 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 look at me look at the great things I'm doing look how my how many followers I have look how you know whatever um, and we have forgotten about at least some people seem to have forgotten about the other person the other side and having some compassion and some understanding for what they may be dealing with um, or maybe aren't dealing with, and maybe that's part of the problem. Um, but yeah, just thinking about the other person and cutting them some slack, or asking them some questions rather than judging them, and and holding the space for them and understanding the their situation, and doing the best you can to help them if you can. Um, 
being clear about boundaries, certainly. Um, but yeah, just holding the space for them. As I said in the, the toxic positivity video that I recorded in episode 35, just holding the space and being not non-judgmental. Accept them for where they are, who they are at that moment in time. Whatever that is, whatever that looks like, it's okay. Anyway, this has been episode 36 on compassion in my brick wall chat series. I'm going to call it a day now and go and edit these and release them over the next uh, few weeks into the new year, into 2020. And uh, you'll probably be watching this sometime around March or April. So I hope the first quarter of the year has gone well. And uh, yeah, we're all that we're all having a good time. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe or reach out and if you have questions and thanks a lot. Bye.